Welcome to our video on multi-purpose pouches. We have uh, here three different models, so um, it, it just looks like a very plain and simple pouch. Um, but there has been some development input behind, uh, which I'm going to talk you through uh, right now in the next few minutes. So um, when you imagine pou pouches from like f five that are five to six years old or so, they were just full of mole webbings and uh, stuff like here. and. You just felt like, so this is the original plate carrier carrying system and people would have the, uh, the possibility to attach like 20 other pouches to that pouch. Um, so the, the ideas now in development, they're a little bit uh, differently. So you just make it as lightweight as possible and uh, just make or, or have the attachment features that are really, really necessary and just leave away the rest. So uh, we start maybe at the back. Of course, it's, it's MOLLE compatible, um, but these two slots, they are made in a way that you can also use a belt or wear it directly uh, at a belt. For instance, you go hiking and want to have a multi-purpose pouch, so you could just slide a belt through and carry it directly on your hip. And um, whenever you have it attached to your equipment, it's a, a very simple way of opening it. Just have uh, to, to pull that little zip here and then the pouch opens and uh, inside uh, you have velcro patch uh, surfaces and there's a lot of uh, like additional products we offer uh, to this pouch so there's a couple of let's say uh, patch panels um, one is like for the individual designs that are these two uh, here you have like very slim rows uh, of, of webbing where you can uh, uh, like cut uh, this this back to back tape and make it uh, make it an individual pouch for your equipment so there's then no no need to buy an extra pouch for a similar purpose you just use the one you have you just uh, buy these uh, panels um, uh, consisting of velcro back to back and then you're good to go you just have i don't know scissors pens whatever you want to want to install inside the pouch i just uh, do it for you just put it in here and here you have like an extra row of mole then and then you you just uh, cut uh, the back to back and then the way you want to have it cut and then you can uh, add, uh, uh, like attach different uh, pieces of equipment to that rows. then of course, there's the, the double layer one, so there's two, three uh, uh, rows. And here's uh, one that's designed for containing fo like flashbangs, um, uh, like a prefabricated uh, model. And this one is here for, uh, for shot shells, like 12 gauge shot, shot shells you can attach to that pouch. So as I said before, these pouches, imagine just five or six years back, uh, they were full of molly webbing, uh, literally molly webbing everywhere. Um, uh, we we, we uh, kind of downgraded uh, the molly from the design and uh, we just uh, attached to the pouch what was really necessary or we thought is really necessary. And uh, in this version, we just have these two loops uh, on the bottom of the pouch where you can easily attach, for instance, a tourniquet. It's quickly available then. Uh, when this one is mounted to your uh, personal equipment. So there's also on the outside of the pouch, um, there's also um, two each one on every side where you can attach, for instance, I don't know, light sticks, whatever you want to have attached. Of course, there's a, a small portion of patch if you want to have like, I don't know, your team patch sitting here or whatever. All right, so this was the horizontal version now it's um, the vertical version uh, it's about the same design as I said before uh, main feature on the back side is uh, uh, despite the mole system is here a cut where you can insert uh, or slide it on a existing belt you're wearing um, other than that the design inside the pouch is pretty much the same uh, uh, compared to the horizontal version and 
what we uh, have uh, here available also is different pre-configured uh, patches as, as I uh, said before and here you can see how this looks like when it's filled so for instance here you have the uh, patch for the short shells and they are also easily installed inside the pouch see that and then there's uh, with with these extra panels uh, there's a lot of room you can dig down to the bottom of the pouch uh, and get the the stuff out and everything is like sorted so i'm a very very uh, managed guy so to say and i like these organization panels a lot all right um, the last one to been explained here is a, a little bigger version and uh, there's not uh, the, the, the molle on the back because it's it's meant to be uh, worn with a plate carrier or a chest rig so all our systems are designed in a modular way uh, so uh, whenever you have a, a front part of one of our pieces of equipment can be chest rig can be uh, a plate carrier that is designed to hold uh, that specific pouch you could just um, patch it in and then it stays there there's no need for any molle webbing or so to attach that pouch um, this one is a little bit bigger. Just imagine you would wear it uh, here, like where, you know, where your stomach is, roughly. Then you have like these grenade pouches uh, or the, these grenades. Uh, you want to protect them from like heavy dust or whatever. Yeah. Um, so they are quickly accessible. The pouch is sitting here. You have then the, the quick, quick zipper, like this and then you can easily access your grenade. Underneath the pouch is a pre-configured um, rubber elastic band uh, where you can attach the tourniquet uh, to the pouch. It makes sense if it's like close, not on your lower leg sitting somewhere. The tourniquet it should be here around where the upper body is and here where your crown jewels are. Um, you can uh, easily disassemble uh, then the tourniquet and these are adjustable either you're using a long or short one um, uh, tourniquet wise you can adjust them and you could also use these little uh, yeah features right here with for some extra cord um, also to manage uh, uh, your equipment or also yeah you could use this uh, to, to, to uh, compress the pouch also if uh, this is required all right, so that's about it, about our yeah, latest multi-purpose pouch development programs. And um, we will put the link for the plate carrier uh, in the comment section. Uh, please be so kind, uh, leave us a like or a uh, comment uh, and hope to see you soon in the next product video. Stay safe and stay tuned on social media. Bye bye.